Finally, tonight, saying goodbye. As you may know, this evening, Ted Koppel will step down from Nightline, the program he's anchored for the last 26 years. It is an incredible story, still unfolding to this very moment. An incredible story indeed. This is Ted Koppel, ABC it's News. It's more than 20 miles from here to the Red Chinese border. Ted Koppel began as a reporter in the field. All night long, the camp has been under enemy mortar attack. In 1979, with Americans held hostage in Iran, Koppel began broadcasting at 11.30 each night to give Americans the latest. This is the fifth agonizing day for the U.S. government. ABC News took a risk and turned that late-night broadcast into Nightline. This is a new broadcast. In the Ted Koppel would use this opportunity to change television news. It has been suggested to me that we need a symbolic divider between our Israeli guests on the one hand and our Palestinian guests on the other. Bringing together people in conflict. We do not want to accept Excuse citizens me. of a certain F country, F but we F have decided... F taking on the racial divide in America. I heard him refer to all of the giants in our community as you people. If we're ever going to reach our hands out to one another, you can't lump us all together any more than we can lump you all together. Ted Koppel brought his audience to Kosovo. We were shown the pictures of the people who had been executed by the Serbs. And there were men and women and children. Um, yeah. And the Congo. The number of victims who have died here over the last three years is about two and a half million. Two and a half million you'd think we would have noticed. What is going on here can be a matter of life and death. At age 63, he traveled to Iraq with the 3rd Infantry Division. Koppel wanted to cover America's new war firsthand. Something that Shakespeare wrote for Henry V, wreak havoc and unleash the dogs of war. And there they start moving into Iraq. One year later came his controversial program honoring America's fallen. Andrew Chris. Oren Saul Smith. Ted Koppel has never shied from confrontation. Mr. Brown, some of these people are dead. They're beyond your help. Don't you guys watch television? Don't you guys listen to the radio? You are attacking me. You are speaking to General Arafat. I understand. Who's more frustrating, me or Arafat? Um, <laughs> he's, he's funnier. Um, <laughs> In 1995, Ted Koppel introduced America to Maury Schwartz who was suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. I want you to confront for me the moment when your still active mind is a prisoner of your no longer functioning body. That has to scare the hell out of you. Not yet. Not yet. Ted Koppel, in his conversations with Maury, showed America that a dying man had much to teach about living. When I am dying, I don't only have to be taking I could also be giving. Nightline will continue, but 11.35 tonight is Ted's final broadcast. Yes, it will be Tuesday with Maury, and we wish Ted well. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. Good night.